senior or my superior. You see, you may not know for yourself, but the truth is that there is something inside you which is a disloyal trait. There is something inside you which makes it difficult for you to say that this person is my father, is my superior. This is the one I look up to. This is the one from whom I've been made what I made. Hallelujah. And that is the reason why people cannot remain faithful. That is the deception that people have and for which reason they break away or they decide not to get stuck you know or acknowledge or stay connected to people who are ahead of them. It is human nature really to be disloyal. It is very easy to be disloyal. Because of the ease of being disloyal, Many people cannot see it. You know, they think that, oh, oh, but you people, you are making loyalty too extreme. You know, you are making too much noise about this subject of loyalty. But again, I did see on Tuesday that for leaders to be successful leaders, for you, to really do well. Well, as far as ministry is concerned, you cannot rule loyalty out. You cannot take loyalty out of your ministry. And Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So today I want us to look at another point, another key. Another thing that we see in the life of Jesus, another very important trait that we can see in the life of Jesus, which actually reveals his loyalty to his father. And that is Jesus um, showed us through it by his life that a person who does not who, who does only what he sees his father do his leader do his superior do a person who does only what he sees his superior do can be said to be loyal Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody may ask, ah, but what are you saying? Can't I also have my view? What is wrong if I have my view? It is very, 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 very common to come to terms with yourself that at all. Me too, I have mind, I can think. Do you have something in your coconut? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> so, what is wrong if you decide to do what you want to do and you decide that this husband of yours can have his own opinion? You also have your opinion. You see, when we talk about loyalty, it is 
it is something, I mean, it is a life, a practical life attitude. Say a canoe credia, a ya brabomo, subay, and answer me yet. Jesus said something in John chapter 5, I think verse 17. Yes, you can be doing when it's in on teacher Mudunson. No, verse 19. Teacher Muduncom. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself. But what he see the father do, for what things soever he doeth, this also doeth the son. And I used to was say once, me can't trim on the cream of passe, or ban on to me money, chimney, she did dear woman, a janus say, Oh, ye, if we say, Bibia or no, ye no, a noana or ban on so ye. Now, I've always said to myself, I don't know where I learned it, but I believe I learned it through. Sermons or whatever somebody. Me catch me. Hose me nimbe biya misu ya nende na sumi jidi se misu ya nende miya sema. Any time I see the praise, verily, verily. Biya me hose ya tre no kre no kre biya no. I know that what follows is not negotiable. Me nimse niye etwa sono enya adi ameti mi atu tre mo. It's a truth that you cannot negotiate. E yano krebi a wunti mi enko. It's a truth that when you fight, will fight and break you. So e yano krebi a se wone ne kuwa wone ne bekona. It is something that needs attention. E ya adi biya ehia wa wa adjin. It's a truth that you cannot compromise. E yano krebi a wunti mi toto nasi. Jesus said, "Verily, verily, I say." Unto you. Yes, we say no cry, no cry. We say we say. The son, he can do nothing. Or bani inti mi nyashi. And when the Bible says nothing, it means nothing. Se trust them nso ka. Nothing. She anache se she. Yes. It means nothing. E trust her she. The son can do nothing. Or bani inti mi nyashi. Except what he sees, the father do. A ji di oju se ne papa aye. Nothing. She. You see, many times we find ourselves struggling to do things. You know? And you realize that all the effort that you put in into doing whatever you are doing by yourself, it comes to nothing because it produces she. <laughs> you know what is she? She means zero, nothing. And that's why Hallelujah. Amen. No, it's true. It is very, 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 very true. So, Jesus, he said that, look, I'm the son. I can't do anything. On my own, of myself, I, I cannot do. I know every effort that I put in, which is different from what the Father is doing, it doesn't work. It does not work. How many have tried things many times and you realize that? As you try and try and try and try, it's not working. That is exactly what Jesus Christ is saying. You know, he said, but what I can see the Father do, what I can see God do, you know, when I follow suit, when I try to do it, it works. Look, ministry. If you don't follow your father, if you don't do what your father you see doing, I'm telling you, you will not go far. Yeah. Mm. It's like you can have your mind to think. You can think of doing what you want to do. But what you want to do may differ from what 
the father is doing. And the truth is that Jesus, as for Jesus, he said, I don't want to waste my time. Because I know that when I do differently, something different from what my father is doing, I may waste my time. My effort will come to nothing. So why don't I spend time rather to see, to find out what my father is doing and me to I just follow and do what my father is doing. If my father succeeds, I will succeed. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Sanity. You know, you see, if I have my vision to carry out in this church, in this fraternity, and Bishop Doug also has a vision. Now Bishop Doug and so I want to do it. And another person also has his vision. You will realize that we would have about three visions. It cannot work. A vision, more than one, is die vision. Die means two. Sorry. Or try vision. And I said, Niswa di hunu biya yes wa shakeke. When you add or put die, D I before vision, you have division. So what did D I no e be division anymore? Any open yam pape mo. Madam Fosofo, I then I will say Omre. My shepherd friend, why do you waste your time? Me go and refer down for I then cry and I will say Omre. Why don't you follow? I then I won't need to be. What you see your father do? I then I need to help prepare and I won't be. And it is working. Ah, and also a year Juma. Why don't you do it? I then I won't need sir. And it works for you. A year Juma mau. You see, this is the reason why we keep encouraging people to follow, follow. Very hard. We enter na ya ya shem ko phone cry sa omo niye chere den den den. Follow the first love principles of church growth. Yeni first love on she she ya ya dema a sorry eni ni nesu. That is what we see our father doing. And no any idea you who say ya papa aye. Between January or December thirty first to last month, if you could gather additional. 2,000 people in addition to the 10,000 that sat the first night to become 12,000. Why should I think that if I follow what I see being done, why, why should I think that I will fail? Se efri a fine we a yene beto bo sumi mi enu e wu ye mo na se wati mi di mpi over two months, less than three months e enu a bo sumi mi en sakura a church is able to come up with 2,000 more souls. Uh, sorry, it's me, it's craft, fro, and pin me, no, I can Why should you think that you will not make it, you know, and make it so large and so big? I don't know what's our dream, sir. Won't we end here? I'm just talking about what you see your father do. The moon who sell up a pair in America, and only in America. You think that if they are doing center services, but centers and basantes, basantes, and you also begin to do center, basenta, basanta. Now, also, shall see a center, basenta, and basanta. Now, you will not make it. If one person is able to gather 300 people to church, 
What principles did he use? And she say, Ben, how did he do it? Oh, yeah, then, oh, yeah, yeah. Go and see what is being done. Come and do the same thing. You think that the person who did it over there is different from your, your church member who says I can do it and that's it. I mean, that's the point that I'm trying to make. Jesus said, what I see my father do, that's what I do. I have no time to waste. I mean, I, I don't have time, to, I don't have effort and energy to just deplete and waste just like that. What I see my father doing, that is what I'm going to do it. And if my father succeeds, I will succeed. And Jesus, you agree with me that he succeeded. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. Amen. What I see, my you know, this is a loyal trait. It means that Jesus and his father, they are very connected. Yeah. And that is, Jesus has decided that, look, I will connect properly with my father. Yes, so for as long as he's properly connected to his father, he knows that he will do well. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, sometimes we think we can we can we can do our own things. But many of the things that we think we can do. You see, it has been tried and tested before by different people who have realized that it's not working. Why don't you learn from it? But you, you want to try the same thing that somebody has tried before. And failed. Who, who do you see? Who do you look at? As far as ministry is concerned. Like I told you on Monday, on, on Tuesday, some of these principles, uh, they work even outside the church. I don't know who stands up in a uh, concert and says that I have my uh, mission statement. This is how I want to do things. You can't do that. If they say that this is the way we miss concrete for slabbing, you must use the same measurement. Otherwise, you are fired. You can say that this is concrete for slabbing. What I see my father do, that is what I do. That's that. Look, don't you think that it is easier to see and do? Don't you think that it is easier to copy and paste? Don't you think that it is time saving and everything too? I mean, look. Of course, you must know who your father is. Because if you follow someone who is failing, you fail. You end up, you end up copying what fails. But you, say, must, you must know who you are following who your father is in ministry. And just flow. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, one day, Jesus went to a pool. That could be used to echo in That pool was called Bethesda. And so many of friends Bethesda. The Bible says Jesus saw so many people gathered by the pool. Yes, trying to say yes, who said Nipa, somewhere withered, somewhere hold, somewhere, somewhere blind, a beer near Frau, somewhere lame, a beer boo. And the Bible says that once in a while, once a year or so, an angel comes to stir up the water, and then whoever first enters into the water 
is healed. That was the place that Jesus Christ went. When Jesus went there, it did not heal all the people who were gathered there. He narrowed into just one person. And the Bible says that Jesus asked him one question. Do you want to be healed? To cut a long story short, Jesus healed him. Then, the Jews and other people around there asked of him, why he healed he told them what I saw my father do. Just exactly like that. Look, I believe Jesus had the power and could heal more than one person there. Yes. Yeah. Jesus could have healed two people. But he healed just one. Mm. And when they challenged him, he told them that what he saw his father do. Sometimes we want to do what God is not doing. Because we want to impress people. Because we want people to see that yes. We have landed. Especially those of us who have power ministries. You know? Sometimes you want you want people to see that, oh, you are there. But the race is not for the swift. If Jesus is not doing it, God is not doing it, and you want to do it, then you are on your own. You can do you if there was any trouble, you, you do it, what you want to do, and carry along with the associated problems and troubles with it. And I believe that that is why some certain people have so many problems and challenges in ministry. Jesus said, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. How can a yoke be easy? I mean, the word burden alone suggests that the thing is heavy. Yet he said, My burden is light. You see, if you would do, what you see your father doing. The yoke will become easy. And the burden will become light. Do you know why? Because your father has taken the weight out of the yoke. Yeah. You know? So, ladies and gentlemen, pastors, my good Riders and sisters. It's important that we see what our father is doing and limit ourselves to what our father is doing and do it. My dear brothers and sisters, look, choose who your father is. And follow. Hallelujah. Amen. I've chosen who my father is. May and no. I want to follow him. What I see him do. I want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. There was a time he said he was doing cells. He do baby no so yes cells. We went into cells. Yeah, yes cells nibi. At a point in time, he do baby no. He changed to basalization. Oh, si san ko basalization. We 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 did some. Yeah, the baby. And today, what do we have? Here near war. Huh? Basenta. Huh? Basenta. Basenta. Why shouldn't I shift to do Basenta? I didn't see any question. I mean, he has done the thing and realized and seen the, the
the pros and the cons and the difficult thing and he said it is so, it, it can be solved through this man why shouldn't i follow why yeah why should i remain with the problem why should i want to encounter the problem which he has encountered already? so that's why sometimes people say that ah, you people you are always changing but even the same people who came to tell us that we should do this. You know, sometimes that's how the church members behave. Yeah. Choose who you want to listen to. Either you want to listen to a father or you want to listen to church members. Yeah. 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 If you're not listening to anyone, I want you to know that you'll be listening to yourself. So choose who you want to listen to. I want to listen to a fatherly figure. I want to listen to a leader who I am following. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm better off now, with that principle. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. So you can see that Jesus did nothing. He did nothing. He did nothing. He did nothing. He did nothing of his own. And when I when I say nothing, I mean nothing. Yeah. Mm. I want to think that, oh, Charlie. Which we have our mind. See, that's why some people cannot believe that certain things being done can be done. So, oh, these are students. We are school for. So they can do it. They don't have anything doing. We, my church is full of workers. It's full of grown-ups. It is full of this type of people. Yeah. Mm. So that's what people have been saying. So I cannot do it that way. Continue going on. Do what you want to do. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But for Jesus, he said, What I see my father do, exactly that is what I'm doing. You know, with our natural mind, we will do things the way we want things to go. We will do things in a particular way. But if we decide to follow what Jesus is doing, or what Jesus said, if I decide to do or follow and see, see and follow what my father is doing, I will do it my father's way. I want you to know that you are called to please a father. And you must do the same. And listen, you will grow faster. You will grow faster as you emulate father. You grow faster. Hallelujah. Amen. And look, ministry is full of so many problems to add more problems to your problems. No, I, I like those who have just started in ministry who do not know. But ministry has so many problems and so many challenges. And it is better to follow and see what is being done and just quietly and just yeah. for your information life is very short so you better work faster you better achieve more and do more and you can do more than if you follow your own mind and experiment things which have been experimented already now so near my yes i said that i should know yeah mm. how many understand what i'm saying 
The next point. The loyalty of Jesus. When we look at Jesus' life, there are so many things that we can learn about loyalty. Hallelujah. Amen. A loyal person is a person who does not allow words of men to influence him. Can we meet to John chapter 5, verse 24, 34? Are you there? Oh. But I receive not testimony from man. But these things I say. Ye might be saved. Na me de me nyi adanse oni pe bi nche na me kan ye inu na mo nya nkwa. Hallelujah. Amen. I receive not the testimonies of men. Me nyi oni pa enu mo adanse. I do not receive the testimonies of men. Me nyi oni pa ho adanse. It is like saying that I am not influenced by what men See. I yet to say you know there's so much deception that 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 deceived men can lead you into. And sometimes we are so much happy, we are so much in a hurry, we are so much open. Our lives are so open to receive what men have to say. Especially if it has to do with praises. Oh, today you sound well, pa. Meanwhile, sometimes you know. Very very well. Well. You know very, very <laughs> well that today it didn't work out at all. But you see, because men want to encourage you, it's like it is it's, it's a nice way of encouraging you. So if it gets into your head and you and you stand the praises of men. Then you will not feel like you know improving upon what you your, your performance today. And yeah, now when you think you say, Oh, me person me me bomb my day with me, and then the me yeah yeah no who I come in him. More so if it's about two or three people who actually praised you or said something nice and good. And can can you say say any pam you know me and say be cry and a can be be come a come a f a on one. Look, my good friend, Madam Fupa. Those of us who have been praising other people. Let's be very honest with ourselves. Is it not the case that sometimes what we are saying, we know very well that it's not But we are just trying to encourage the person. You have not preached well. Somebody says, oh, Charlie, today you preach papa. <laughs> You not sang well today, but somebody comes to you and says, Today, oh, Charlie, as you, were sing, as you, were, you, were, you were singing, I was belting in my seat. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Look, let us be very honest with ourselves. Let us judge ourselves. The Bible says that if we judge ourselves, we'll not be judged. Yeah. Mm. You judge yourself. Yeah. Mm. You are not doing well. Your church is not doing well. You know there's so many problems in your church. You know the issues that you are being confronted with in your church. Somebody say, Charlie, you are doing well. Your head 
become bloated. If Jesus could preach and in a day, 3,000, thousands of people, thousands of people get born again. You sit there one year, you are able to make 500 and you are happy. Say yes, it's me, can you me a ni pam pem and start do a crystal now to war na a fit when you nipa and ma when you are j you have reduced yourself to the standards of men. And you see what to debrace what about when you are and you are comparing yourself to the next church and your would, best friend. What do you want to to a sorry na and what won't change and answer what down for no dear no. That is why you feel satisfied with the little things that you are doing. And nothing na near market and getting a way and when you son is a no. The praises of men. Oh, nipa aye ye. There's a song we used to sing there for the praises of men. And you be a whole artist. I will never ever stop. Listen, let that be a hallmark. Ma eno enye ashen so dear e wo abrabu mo. Desire to do better. Now, Pepe said, Oh, by yeah, dear, a year at chain, Oh, Bishop, are you saying that I mean we should not encourage people? Bishop, what's into my own shankro phone crying? Please don't get me wrong. Mr. Wine, Chimadrin, and my daughter, and you're not making I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying that that should not cage you, make us put you into a cage, and you can say, and no, and they will share such that your, your maximum potential will not be brought out Hallelujah. Amen. You better do your best. Never be satisfied. You see, um, somebody who is successful, someone who, who will go very far will tell himself that I am not happy with what I have done. It's not that what I've, I've, I've done is bad, but I am not happy. I want to do more. And do more. And do more. And do more. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I was very challenged when I heard First Love saying that they want a choir of thousand. Hey. Thousand, no? <laughs> <laughs> you are a ministry for over ten years. Ne me ma se kora endu thousand. Me pacho me kan chia na wa kabro for why? Someone has been in the ministry for more than ten years, but his membership is not up to thousand. And someone says that, look, I just want my my my, my choir. Then you you see a choir of uh, fifty people on your stage and you are very happy. Now who I do to call you any pair you know with stage is because you have a small stage and your stage is full up already. And so stage you know is a and I abom under that fifty any pair do you know and you are very happy when you are. If you want to do what you see your father do, you be satisfied with your fifty. So person we hear near your papa area when in so we do you know man we want to. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Your father's vision will challenge you and encourage you on. Opa and push you on. Opa pe ni so adi unu ni be she unkra ina e pisu ako wenim. Hallelujah. Amen. You will never be satisfied with whatever you have. You, you it will know, because fathers always are in the lead. And fathers are always encouraging us. Look, the fact that a father is in the lead and you are following means that where your father has got into, you have not gotten there. Are you understanding what me? You are yeah. Yeah. Do you know what is thousand? 
Have you counted thousand before? What kind of people I remember when we were in school. Very early in the morning, who who recite one two three. One two three. One two three four. Look before we get to hundred. We are tired. Everyone is tired. How many people counted numerals when you were in school? Yeah. I'm talking about thousand. One thousand. A pimbaco. And then you are happy. And you will do when you are. Do what you see your father do. Yeah, nia uhu se waja aye. You should desire to have thousand. Kwa membership. I was so unya opesa ubenya adun to kuwa imuni pape. That is what it means. Sape pepe neche. To do what you see. Se uye nia. You see, but how can I? Because my church auditorium is small. That is what it means to say that deep calling unto deep. That is what will provoke you to break down and to build. Yeah. So, so you can see that even if you have your father's vision and you do what you see your father do that one alone is even able to, to give you a wider vision and that is a result Every leader must be loyal. Yeah. Mm. Yesterday, Bishop Go was sharing with us how loyalty brings about a mega church. This kind of loyalty. This kind of thing will bring you to the place of wanting and desiring to have a mega church. Mega church, mega ministry, mega everything. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Don't stand the praises of men. Let them say whatever they want to say. But for you, in yourself, in your mind, decide that you will not be caged by the praises of men. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. You can write a book. Somebody say, Charlie. The way you preach, you can write a book. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how to prefer a book? Do you know where to start from? I'm not discouraging you. I don't, I don't to discourage you. But I'm making a point. I'm just sharing with you something which is very important, something which is very relevant. Yeah. 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 Listen. Let's have a humble mind. And not allow people to influence us with words. Now, which we know are not solid words. They are hollow words. Jesus made one other profound statement which depicted or which is a reflection of his loyalty. Read with me John chapter 5, verse 44. John chapter 5, verse 44. He said, How can you believe which receive honor?
about Jesus talking. Jesus Christ when I near casa. You seek the honor that comes from men only. Any power mo nyampe ena na mo sheshe. It's not that you seek that one and you seek that of God, but you seek that one only. Any sa wo ji ni pa diye na wa ji nyame diye na na wo mo sheshe wo nongkwa wo ni pa diye nongkwa. Does that minister to you? It can be true. He said, "How can ye believe? How can you believe? How can you? You will always remain an unbeliever. That's why we have unbelieving believers in the church. These unbelieving believers they seek the honor that comes from men only." In other words, all that they are doing, what they want is to impress people, for people to say good things about them. Yes. Yeah. And you know, sometimes it, it, it reflects in our sermon. It reflects in the way we do things. It reflects in, in even our choices of people we are training and all kinds of people. We ref, it reflects in even who we allow to come close to us. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was it this morning or who preached it? I think Bishop Ben. He was talking about um, he was talking about how we choose fair colored people. No, it's true. Huh? I think it, <laughs> it was talking about uh, Leah and Rachel. No, can't Leah and Rachel. I'm not listening to you this morning. And we are choosing, you know, our choices are very wrong. We look to faces. Yes, you share any more. Because we want to impress people. We seek the honor of only men. It's not about what God thinks about our choices. What about it's about what people think about our choices. Yeah. Yeah. We choose who should do what. Not by spiritual yardstick by, by you know physical and other you know standards which are not spiritual because we seek to impress men and to impress men only and not to impress God is God happy with what you you are doing. Will God approve of what you are doing? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Mm. What has God to, what has God to say about what you're doing? Do you want to be a lady pastor because you want others to see that? Jesus, he said, I seek to please only God. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. And not, and not anyone but God. When your loyalty is to God, you don't seek to impress people. When your loyalty is to your father, you don't seek to impress any other person than your father. Yeah. Mm. The father you have in the house, your loyalty to him will make you want to impress him. Vis-a-vis -vis any other person. Hallelujah. Amen. Who do you seek to impress? Show me. me. I will show you who you are loyal to. Yeah. No. Even if your father says things that you do not understand. And you never understand. And you not you do not agree with. 
It is no reason if your loyalty is to him to do otherwise. Yes. Do you know Reverend Oko do you know that your father has told you many things that you never understood? But eventually, as you travel on in life, you understand. Yes. That is how it is in church. You never understand. You, and you will not understand. Because, you know, if you... Recently, I was traveling with someone. The person asked me a question. That if God knew that Adam and Eve were going to sin and that it would bring about the fall of man, why should God allow? Why didn't God stop all this kind of no. things? No. And, you know. So Adam and Eve bear bonia my design yemen yinaba. I didn't cry and yang kupon e bo womu cra ma san yema we buy it. You know. Among the things that I told him is that, look, God, he never takes our will away from us. He makes us willing. I asked him, just imagine that you are in the house with your father. Your father says that uh, sleep at three o'clock. Wake up at this time. That yes, is sorry, that Brace. Time. After some time, maybe you can do, you may do it. But after some time, would you be happy? Do you have a father? Are you sure you have a father? If your father says, wait till you marry at 40. I mean, there are many things, there are many things that you will not want. You know, so, so it does not compel us against our will, but it makes us willing to follow his will. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. So, why do you want to understand everything that your father tells you before? You do it. Oh, you know, I mean, I remember one day, me and my senior brother, siblings, there was an issue over food. My mother asked me to apologize. I felt that my case was good. I had a good case. I never thought that I needed to apologize to my And she insisted that I should apologize. I looked at it. I said, ah. If I apologize. In my thinking, and they have overcome me. I don't understand what I'm trying to say. How uh -huh. many have been there before? Uh -huh. You will never ever understand all the ways that God leads you. But if you know God, God and you are loyal to God, you just flow. Hallelujah. Amen. A loyal person does not seek to impress people. Seek to impress their leader. And Jesus showing us what loyalty is. He showed us two honor only God and honor others. He said to honor only God and honor Hallelujah. Amen. The loyalty of Jesus will bring us to that place of honoring God alone and never at all honoring other people. Jesus also taught us that a loyal person seeks only the approval of his leader. John chapter 5 verse 32 
John 532. What did he say? He said, There is another that beareth witness of me. I know that, that the, the witness which he witnesses of me is true. There is another that beareth witness of me. Now, a loyal person is someone who knows that what his father says is what is really the case. That what his father says is really what matters. Men may disapprove of you. But what your father says is the most important thing. God's approval. God's approval is what matters and supersedes any kind of approval. Hallelujah. Amen. So he says that I know that there is another that bear witness of me. And I know that that witness which he bear of me is true. Hallelujah. Amen. The next point that a loyal person constantly hears the voice of his master. Ye have another, ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his ship, and ye have not his words abiding in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Always want to hear the voice of his father. Yes, Christ, Abibia, no person would see a nature and name. That's why Jesus in Mark 1 35, Bible said, Jesus, early in the morning, he would go out there into a solitary place and there communicate with his father. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Mm. Who is your father? You must hear his voice every day. It's your loyalty to that father. Those of you who find it very difficult communicating daily. I said when? How many times? Daily. And you say, oh, but, I mean, do I have to call? Oh, I was telling my friend. No. Every day. Debia. Is it not cumbersome? Is it not? Am I not disturbing him? It's a sign of your loyalty. It's a level of your loyalty. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. 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 Jesus will want to hear his father every day. Yes, we kiss to a person who is in a journey. Debia. Every day. Debia. Yeah. Bishop Eddie, I heard Bishop Eddie one day saying that. It is a Bishop Eddie, can that could be say? Every day he De- wants to hear Bishop Dark speak. Debia, a person who is in Bishop Dark, a casa. Every day he De-bia. wants to soak. Message. Somebody was is, is this not too much? It's the level of your loyalty. Hallelujah. Amen. I mean, I cannot, I cannot imagine me living with my three children in the house and would not hear their voice a day. Me, 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 or they wouldn't want to hear my voice. And I'm one person better than that could cry. They enter my room. They don't knock. It's like I'm sharing the room with them. I have seven dynamic no more dear. Even when they have grown, they still enter my room like they are their classmates. Oh more than you cromu remedy said may your classmates be. 
I mean, do you understand me? What's the yeah. mm. uh, How many? How many can identify what I'm saying? How many were bad boys like that? <laughs> Sometimes when I'm even bathing, my boy will just come and open the door and he, 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 he begins to talk to me. No, daddy, I want you to. Then he begin to. Oh, daddy, daddy, na fi washe unkomana si. Why should you think that talking to your father or hearing your bo- father's voice every day is too much? I didn't know. I said, "Would you have dreamed?" He said, "Would you, Papa, need the yard?" It's your level of loyalty. It's true. We no credit in pimpins. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Today you can you can even send text message and whether or not you receive an answer or a response. I mean, it's not an issue. And nay, over to me, I send a text message. So, obey you are no, and you are no, and you how be a. Oh, I don't want to disturb him. Did he tell you that you are disturbing him? <laughs> Has he ever texted back to you? You are disturbing me. What text to back to say, oh, how much gender? But you can be there a whole week. A whole week. Wait, 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 a whole week. Now, watch him. You don't even think that you have a father somewhere. You don't even think that you have a leader somewhere. It's a sign of something. But Jesus, every day, every day, every day, every day, day, loyalty suggests your continual, constant relationship. No credit, etch, why young could fight to a to a so the beer. If your beloved sends you text every day, he's not disturbing you. So don't be send no text, the beer, there and how. If you have to send text message to your husband at the workplace every day, it's not a problem. I was so send you who text, the beer, where you want more, and you how. And you do it without thinking about it. I mean, as you are playing with the, the phone, then suddenly, you know, by, by some, whatever, you know, reflex action, then you just tune it and then you just start sending What phone are we eating today? I need money for this one. Have you, have you forgotten? You text before you even think that but to relate to a father you find it a problem you find it too much or listening to a father every day listen to me I think that you will be doing something very very wrong if you cannot at, I mean at our levels here of being pastors shepherds leaders you know, officer, it is. I don't think it is proper if we cannot tune in and listen to our father's voice every day on a daily basis. Daily. Should be daily. Every day. And I mean every day. Yeah. Some of you people. You were so bonded, okay? You were so bonded, I hear my time is up. You were so bonded to your parents that even when you were married or you got married and you went away, you were still communicating to your father. How many understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Bishop Charles. <laughs> want to give the Lord a better clap offering and want to take your seats in the presence of the Lord. can take our seats, please.
We want to welcome Veronica to give us a song. She here. You can give her a better clap of him, please. Jesus says, he's the only way. 